Welcome back to another episode of Cars and Life. So I just got uh, FSB, FSD Beta 12, version 12.3.2.1 and it comes with 2024.3.6, also comes with Auto Park. And I've done some quick testing with the uh, version 12 of FSD Beta and wow, what a difference it is. Um, I had a version 11. Uh, dot, 4.9 I think um, that I was using and um, it's pretty amazing already it's 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 um, I think it's it's a game changer um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick drive um, into town um, and just kind of show you um, what it looks like another Tesla Right. There we go. It worked this time. I don't know why it's not wanting to turn. Now turn left onto State Highway 14 North. So this, um, so the previous version 11 point, version 11 had real problems with blind turns like this where you could, you can't see anything on the left hand side. Um, they really struggled, uh, but this, this is really greatly improved. Um, just the, the um, just the acceleration is just much higher um, in version 12 as compared to the last version. Uh, so just just I'm very impressed already. Um, just amazing. Right now I have it on um, just chill. This is my first like FSD beta video, so bear with me. Let's turn the cameras, I guess. Huh? And also the auto auto speed, so it's going to automatically determine what max speed setting I use. So 
already it feels like the auto um, auto speed adjust is, is kind of a little high. Um, I normally would go 60 and a 40. So right now it's 35, so let's re-engage and see what it chooses. We're going 38 and a 35, that seems reasonable. Now we're, now we're going <laughs> 45 and a 35, okay. So I'm gonna uh, turn off the camera and I'll see you later. Yeah, so just the general feel you notice it's different. Um, you know, they've said it's more human-like version 12 and I definitely agree. Uh, it seems much more human-like. The acceleration it accelerates you know, from a turn much, much stronger. Um, just everything is just, um, just pretty amazing. Just a normal dude. I, you know, it's like the first um, FSD beta, you know, video I've ever made. So I haven't posted any videos in a few, in a few years. So keep left to stay on Highway 66 East. So just an average Joe trying this out. So far, it's pretty amazing. I'm kind of surprised I got it so soon. That's why I'm doing this video. It's like, wow. I haven't seen any YouTube videos on it, so I decided to do a video to today. Just down, downloaded like 20 minutes ago. Oh wow, that's late. That's a really late bird. 
uh, Fiato speed adjust. We'll see if it, um, right now we're in a 55 mile an hour zone. Maybe we'll get it to a 45 pretty soon, so uh, we can see if it drops down to 45 automatically. This car, the windshield's dirty. I've been cleaning this car for a while. some major speed bumps on this route. Um, so we'll see what if it sees it or not. If it's pretty hardcore. Um, it's slowing down. That's interesting. Maybe it thought there were speed bumps. They're not really speed bumps, they're just like just bumps in the road because of a bridge. So I doubt that it's gonna see it, but if it does I won't be impressed. They all slow down at like 35. See, the car just went over. Sun left, the car coming, and it's going. Alright. We'll see if it can turn left.
it's doing pretty well here. <laughs> that was a pretty tough maneuver. Handled it very well. So we're going into the uh, parking lot here. It's going to be a 10 mile an hour sign here. In 500 feet, yeah, turn down. right. Very cool. Saw that 10 mile an hour speed limit. Now turn right. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Maybe I can try to see how this parking feature works. Now you have arrived at your destination. Cool, okay. <laughs> Very nifty. So how do we... Oh, scroll, auto park, scroll select. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, so I, um, I have this, hopefully you can see it, but um, so when you get close, so we're in a parking lot with lines and if you're in a Model S at least, you you know you can't use this screen over here, but um, you can select using the right hand um, dial, um, you know which which parking space you want to park in. So let's let's try this one. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna press it. Let me make sure I don't, nothing's in the, in fact. You know I'm gonna I'm gonna move forward here. There's a trailer behind me. I don't wanna I don't wanna hit it. Let's try this uh, this other side here. So I hear it's spotting parking places, and let's choose, let's choose that one. Wow. <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh, that works so well. Damn. And it puts it in park for you. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Whew. That's awesome, guys. That is so cool. Um, so I just auto parked for us. And I'm going to go ahead and um, get us out of here. Oops. Got to put it in drive first. All right, cool. Okay, I don't know which way it wants to go. It chose right. Yeah, the auto park feature, wow, that really works well. So there's that trailer I was talking about. I didn't want to hit it. So. Yeah, I don't know why it's going this way. <laughs> I think it thinks that... I'm going to have to take it out of here. Oh, wow. It thinks there's a road, I think, off left here and it's, it's a dead end so I don't think it knows that so I think that's why yeah see it wants to go off to the to the right here yeah I, gotta, I just gotta get out of it he just thinks there's a road there he's just not on the map it's okay Let's do another auto park. Um, let's do another auto park here. I love this. This is so cool. Let's try to park right next to this big truck here. So we're going slow. So now that the auto park's not on. Oh yeah. Oh check it out. Here it is. Okay. So let's park right there.
Totally cool. Totally cool. Unbelievable. Just... Totally cool, okay. <laughs> Sweet. So let's go do another trip here. Okay, let's see what it does here. Okay, it wants to go right. It's going to go left because it thinks this is a road, which it isn't. Park feature is really cool, I gotta say. It also parallel parks too, I'm sure it does a great job. This North car, I got left to stay on Four Hills Road Southeast. I got three three months of full self driving beta, and this was you know on version 11. And you know, I wasn't too comfortable using it actually, um, so I decided not to continue, you know, do the monthly thing. Well, I did the, an extra month, I think I did the fourth month, and then I stopped paying. Here comes a car on the left. Let's, hopefully it sees it. It looks like it does. And then this, this truck is turning right. And it knows that it's turning right. And that's cool. Okay, here we go. But this new version, version 12, is just, just so different. Um, you know, it drives, you know, the version 11 just didn't drive very comfortably so you wouldn't feel comfortable you know letting it drive for you but this version it you just do you just feel so comfortable driving it so we're going to go to 40 that's getting over because he knows we have to turn right up here so because i mean i uh, another year from now i mean uh, it's just going to be so good that people are going to be buying it, I think. Um, at least I'll probably continue to pay for it, paying $1.99 a month for it. Because it actually finally feels comfortable. It feels safe. You trust it, basically. In 500 feet, turn right to take the interstate for the east ramp. Then take the interstate 40 east ramp on the right. Now turn right to take the interstate 40 east ramp. Okay, we're gonna get on I 40, I guess. Let's, let's see how that works. I guess it's kind of boring, but. Now take the interstate 40 east ramp on the right. Here we go. Yes, he's accelerating. Pretty strong, stronger than what you know, version 11 did. But seriously, this is just, oh my gosh, it's so impressive.
sometimes the ultimate uh, wrap is it doesn't show, so. so I'm going to get off 540 and um, go to the Route 66 route. Let's see how it handles this. Choosing right fork to stay on route. This is a pretty tough left. This, this is kind of blind. You got traffic coming towards you at 55, and then you have coming traffic coming on the right side at 55. So this is pretty tricky. So it's pretty much clear. I mean, I would go right now, and it's going right now too. So yeah, just oh man, amazing. <laughs> just the you know the acceleration is so much stronger. Turn back on that auto speed adjust just to see, um, see what happens here. I think it's an awesome feature, but it just seems like it's too speedy. It's not bad now. We're at a 55. It's going 57. I mean, I think that's reasonable. We're going 58.
that's a pretty cool feature, you gotta admit. You know, auto, auto max or auto speed adjust. I think that's that's pretty cool. Because before you always had to like always adjust this the scroll wheel, you know, the the max, because it would hit 35 and like oh that'd be too slow. So then you would always move it up to 40 or 45. So this feature does it for you. It's kind of nice. It just seems like sometimes it's a little fast. I don't know. It's just me. Like right now, it's probably following this car. And the car's going, you know, 45 out of 35. So I'm going to put this into aggressive to see what happens. Does anybody have any change in behavior? I'm sorry, assertive. Consider this a turn, but it's not really. Alright. So now we'll see if this if it passes this car. So now we're at a 40. Awesome. Yeah, this is pretty impressive. So let's do some more uh, par parking practice here. Let's do some more parking practice here. There's really no parallel parking opportunities that I see. 
I'm gonna do something a little more challenging right next to a car here. Let's see, let's choose. This is the coolest thing. I love this. It, it tells you that it shows you the path too that it's gonna take to get into that spot. But this is just amazing. It's not bad, it's a little bit too close to the, you know, it's not perfectly centered, but it's, it's not bad. And it's going to probably depend on like when you push to park, you know, like what position you're already in. You know, if you're in an awkward position, it might not do as good a job. I actually can't wait to do the, the auto, auto three, three point, three point turn or three point you know, coming out of the driveway, then you have to, um, let's get in here. <laughs> cool. I don't know what this guy's doing. Let's do another one. How about one where we have to pull in straight? How about that one? How about this one? How about this one? Oh, we're gonna back in, okay. So it looks like we always back in. Looks like this guy is, yeah, didn't wanna mess with this guy. Oops. Parking boarded, okay. Okay, that was my fault. Looks like it always wants to back in. I think that's good. Let's see if if I'm over here. These people probably think I'm crazy. Yeah, see it's now it's not choosing any though. It's Joe, he's choosing it. It looks like the back backing up is the default behavior, so tell you what this car is truly truly I think it's you know I mean <laughs> you know I think the Model S you know, this is about full self-driving baby but um, Model S Plaid is just um, just an amazing car I mean it really is uh, but anyway um, I guess my, my thoughts on SD beta 12.3.2.1 I think is the version I have. Um, I mean obviously I'm impressed. Um, I've been a lot of FSD beta driving like all these other guys have done. But um, I definitely noticed a huge difference between 12 and 11. Um, so basically you can actually have fun in FSD beta 12. Whereas in FSD Beta 11, it's like you're always kind of not comfortable, at least I was. You know, it didn't drive drive that well. Um, but now, it, you know, it, it is truly impressive. Um, so I'm glad that I got this version, I think, pretty early. Um, I might post this video tonight. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but uh, anyway... Thanks for watching, and maybe I might do some more more videos. Um, this channel is really devoted to building up a, a Mustang. Um, I kind of stopped doing that. I still have the Mustang, but um, I'm still kind of uh, fixing it, actually. Um, hopefully pretty soon it'll be up and running again. So anyway, uh, thanks for listening, and catch you.
reach on the next one. Bye.